Hello, coin aficionados. Welcome to Phil and Sing Coin Channel. Today we have a one peso coin from 1996, and we're going to compare it to the one peso coin from 2015. They look pretty similar. Uh, they're both usable. They both have Jose Rizal on the front facing to the right. And if we look, they both say Republica Nang Filipinas on here with the year at the bottom, 1996 and 2015. One of the first things you notice if you magnify it a little bit is that the symbol of the Central Bank of the Philippines is much bigger on the new coins. You can see it over here. It's a BSP. Let's get it really magnified. And right there you can see that's the symbol of the Central Bank of the Philippines there. And then if we get over here we see that in fact it's there but it's much smaller and kind of less pronounced. So you can actually see the difference when we hold it like this. This one here is much smaller than this one here. And you, when you compare them, you can see that. Another thing that looks quite different um, is it looks like this Jose Rizal is a little bit bigger than this one. In other words, the typeface on this is a little smaller. But other than that, these coins look very, very similar. One of the things that is not similar about them, however, is their metal content. And so because the modern or the 2015 has steel in it, the magnet will just pick it right up. And uh, so it is magnetic, whereas the 1996 does not have steel in it and the magnet won't pick it up. So this is a non-magnetic one peso here. This is a magnetic one here. This these They are about um, 20 years apart. Uh, but they are both usable. If we tip them over to the back, we see that it says Banco Central Nang Pilipinas on the back, 1993 for the year of this edition of the coin. And we tip this one over on the back and says the same thing, Banco Central Nang Pilipinas, 1993. So both of these coins have the same reverse on them, uh, but they're both made of different materials. And that's why we have... Um, a little bit of uh, a different look to them. So this one's nickel plated steel um, and this one the older one or the non-magnetic one is a copper nickel so the steel is what is magnetic. How many did they make in 1996? Well they started making these coins the 1996 version in 1995 so this was made from 1995 to 2003 it weighs 6.1 grams and in 1996 uh, we don't have the numbers. We just do not know how many the Philippine government or the Central Bank of the Philippines made of this particular coin. And when we go to the magnetic versions, um, we have a little bit more information, but we don't know how many they made, say, of the 2015 coins. All right, so if you're collecting these, uh, look for these older ones. If you find one of these that's in better condition than this, um, you may be able to get um, 60 cents to a dollar for it, um, but it would have to be in almost uncirculated condition. In other words, if we got one of these that looked this good, then we probably could get 75 cents to a dollar for it. But the way this looks here with the chips in it and the, and the little dents and stuff, um, there's going to be very little value to this, um, probably in a 25 uh, cent range. All right, that's all we have today from the Phil and Sing Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.